album is blowing up, you go on a world tour on your own, things are getting better and better for you, Suge Knight starts managing chocolate. And you're eating at the Palm restaurant one day and Suge just pops up on you. I didn't know that at the time. I you didn't know. know that, right. Suge but, managed him? No. Yeah. I don't even think it went that way, but okay. okay. I think there's a different story there. The streets have different stories than probably your common research on your computer. Okay. Well, Shug pops up at you at a restaurant. Yeah. And he was friendly. Yeah. Then he pops up on you again at uh, Benihana. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, he relatively eating some friendly. Of my food too. He starts eating your food? Yeah, he asked. <laughs> He's nice. He's always smiling and friendly. You have to understand, like, this, this picture that Vic Walters painted about him is a complete different picture of what most of the people's public perception is about Suge Knight. He had a good personality. He was funny. We got along. Suge and I really never had a, a, a problem, a disagreement, or anything like that. I understood who he was. You don't need to beat Vanilla Ice up if you understand who someone is. You don't need to hang him over a balcony. The polishing of this story 30 years later has taken on this so many different avenues and stories. I have to constantly just remind people, oh, he never hung me over the balcony and none of that ever happened. And this is phony baloney. It's just the propaganda of the fluff of the way, I guess that people fluff things up with interviews and reporters and right. nothing to you, but you know, it's, it's just very common. And I think people understand that now with politics. Well, then at one <laughs> point you come back to your hotel room with your two bodyguards, you open the door and Suge is there in your room yeah. with like five guys. Yeah. What happens next? Uh, I saw that they uh, all had guns right away and that uh, they're not to be fucked with, but they're very well dressed and smelled good. <laughs> and they were all smiling and saying they're huge fans. And they wanted to take pictures for their daughters and their family. And I did. And everything was cool. Until uh, Suge said he'd like to talk to me uh, on the balcony yes. uh, alone. And I said, oh, okay, it's fine with me. My bodyguard stood up and he got slapped down. <laughs> he, he slapped the bodyguards. Oh, yeah. Himself me, or one of his guys? I, I hate to tell you, he slapped him so hard and made him cry. My bodyguard. Oh, wow. Yeah. Took his gun out of his, he took his gun from him too. Suge took your bodyguard's no, gun. Suge didn't. Oh, one of his guys did. No, his guys, if you want to call them that, I think they were there for backup. Okay. I don't know if I should tell you too much. They were there. They I'm were not going to tell you who they were because I do know. And I'm not going to say all this stuff. I'm going to let you float around on your story okay, well, a little bit. Wasn't, and take, wasn't take chocolate? Take some of the truth and stretch it like everybody else does. Wasn't chocolate there? <laughs> the, 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 oh, chocolate was there in tears. In fact, he wasn't there. The first five people that came in my room, he was not there. Okay. He brought him in about 30 minutes later. Aha. And he was in tears and he had a, he even, he had a black eye and he, you could see that he had been hit in the side of his face several times. Huh. And his face over here was swolt up like this. And his lip was like this. And he was crying and his eyes were red. And they brought him in. What the fuck are you doing here, man? What the fuck is all this? That's when I went to the balcony with Suge. Okay. And he explained to me that basically I'm joining a fraternity. And I go, what is this? I know who you are. I mean, I've, I, I know all this, but what do you want from me? You, just, you want some money. Everything's money. What would you want from the stupid little vanilla ice if it wasn't for money, right? So, yeah, ice. I got Jerry Heller. I got Easy E. I got all these people. Arsenio Hall Eddie and Murphy. Eddie Murphy and all these people. I can name a list of people that pay him to be in this fraternity. I'm like, man, this sounds great. <laughs> I'm like, so I, if I sign these papers, you guys are going to give me protection in the city. Nobody's going to mess with me. And they say, yeah, Ice, you always protected, bro. You're in the elite. You in, are now in the elite. You are in the club. And I go, cool, man. Sign. <laughs> I didn't know I was signing away publishing. This is before all the uh, uh, publishing. You understand? Before I, I got all the publishing and learned about Michael Jackson, before all that. So you have to backtrack. This is, this is how I learned about it. And I'm like, what did I sign? <laughs> what was it? Tommy was like, you did good. You're still alive. That's all you need to worry about. You made the right decision. <laughs> and I still am alive. And I must have made the right decision. Right. I, you got to understand, for me, this is intense for the people listening and watching the story of Vanilla Ice and Suge Knight and Death Row Records. How did this? It's very fascinating. To all the people, they must be like, God, the shit he had to go through. 
and the money he, they must have stolen from him and all this shit, right? So I never cared about the money. Never, ever did, never do, and don't now. You ain't born with it, you ain't gonna die with it. This is all a reward for what I really cared about, which was poetry. Mm. And I just, all this, all this stemmed from me being a little kid in the seventh grade writing poetry love notes to these girls. <laughs> and I never told anybody because that's how I got the girls. And I didn't want to give my secret away for the next guys to get my girls. How do you get all these chicks? I said, I write these sweet little love poems, man, and they, and they love it. Okay. So and it up signing. came from that. This is all poetry, man, and right. entertainment. That's it. So you ended up finding a way. I was never away. bitter about what Suge Knight did. Does okay. that make sense? Okay. People think, oh it. my God, it's such a big deal. To me, I'm in a club. I'm cool, <laughs> man. I'm in a fraternity. <laughs> Hell yeah. Suge went to him and pretty much punked him out of his shit with chocolate, yeah. saying that he wrote the shit the whole nine. Ice Ice Baby. Yeah. Didn't have nothing to do with it. So chocolate had nothing to do with that song? No. He took the contract to Vanilla Ice, made him sign it, and they gave him a check for it.